Hello all. Today we are going to learn about the test traffic generator tools available on Arista switches. We have two such tools. Uh, one is ethxsmith and other is ipuff. This session covers what ethxsmith tool is and how to craft packets by modifying different fields and options. This will be followed by an example and a demo on Arista switch to understand how it works. So what is ethxsmith? ethxsmith is a tool to craft a packet and can be used for testing and troubleshooting without using any external traffic generator or any dedicated host. The tool provides flexibility to modify the fields in the packet header to suit the test case of the user. The syntax of this particular tool is ethxsmith followed by the options to populate the header fields and then the egress interface for the traffic generator. The most common use header options are source and destination IP address, source MAC address, which is by default the interface MAC address, and the destination MAC address, which is by default broadcast address, f.f.f. Dot f dot f. If required, VLAN tag can be added. By default, there is no VLAN tag included. Several other options are available. One can define the size of a packet, IP protocol, what TTL is of the packet, if there's a UDP source port and destination port involved, also, the user can specify if they want to send this crafted packet continuously or a defined number of times using the hyphen C or hyphen N option respectively. Please note, if we do not specify specific packet count, only one packet is crafted and sent out of the egress port. Moving on to the example, here we have two Arista switches, switch 1 and 2, connected by ET1 and 2 as shown in the diagram. Both switch 1 and 2 have VLAN 10 configured. SVI 10 is configured with IP address 10.0.0.1 and 10.0.0.2 respectively. Ethernet 1 and 2 on each of the switch are configured to be trunk with VLAN 1 as native VLAN. The objective of this particular example is to send an app request from switch 1 to switch 2. Here ethxsmith is used to craft an app request packet with 10.0.0.1 as the source IP address and 10.0.0.2 as the target IP address. The source MAC 001C7320F5F6 is the MAC address of switch 1. And the destination MAC is f.f.f.f, app request being a broadcast packet. As Ethernet 1 is trunk port, a VLAN tag of 10 is added to the frame. Just a note, while we have an SVI configured on switch 1, since ethxnet just crafts a packet and puts it on the egress interface based on the field definition provided, there is no control plane state required on the switch such as routing etc. Moving on to the demo, here we have switch 1 and switch 2 connected via ET1. Starting on switch 1, first we need to enter bash shell and from here we shall type the command to generate the traffic. The first demo would be to generate an app request towards the SVI 10, which is configured on switch 2. We can run show IP interface brief command on switch 2 to look at the configured SVI. Let us clear counters to see how the incoming broadcast packet increments. Back to switch 1. sudo to get the root permissions, ethxmit, and then the source and destination IP. Add a VLAN tag of 10 as we have a trunk port on ET1. By default, the source MAC would be of switch 1 and the destination MAC would be f.f.f, which is the broadcast address. Mention the ARP type as request. Additionally, we mention the egress interface, which in our case is ET1. Now, let's check on ET2 and see the increment in broadcast packet using show interface ET1 counters. We see the broadcast has incremented as one. Now to look at the packet on switch to CLI, we can use TCP term tool to capture the packet ingressing and egressing on VLAN 10 and add an ARP filter. As soon as I generate the traffic, we see the app request coming in and reply being generated by switch 2. Let us use some options here. Starting with hyphen C, which will send continuously app request towards switch 2. 
you can see on switch to that continuous app request has been received and corresponding reply is been going out a hyphen n option can also be used if you want to generate specified number of app packets next is unicast traffic generation now we'll try sending in tcp sin packets towards the svi 10 on switch 2 using tcp source port as 2000 and destination port as 3000 then we'll mention the tcp flag as sin as this is a unicast packet the destination MAC would be that of switch 2. Running TCP dump on switch 2. Now we can see 5 packets incoming as I have generated 5 packets on switch 1 using the hyphen N option. Please note, when crafting the TCP packets, ethexment does not maintain the TCP state. The tool is simply used to generate a packet for path integrity and etc. Moving on to the next demo. Let us try generating multicast traffic. We have configured switch to VLAN 10 SVI to be in PIM sparse mode. And the multicast routing is enabled. We will be using switch 1 to emulate a source sending the multicast traffic. You can see the show IP M route is empty right now. On switch 1, we need to change the destination IP address. Let's say a multicast group IP address 239.1.1.1 and the destination MAC which is derived from this IP. We are generating UDP packets using UDP source and destination port to be 5001. On switch 2, we can check at TCP dump and also the show IP M route state. We can see the source has been discovered on switch 2 as a directly attached source. Thank you for watching. This was ETHXMIT traffic generator for you.